sometimes I'm just not in the mood for unsolicited advice. Like, I didn't ask for it, so I don't feel like hearing it. When I ask for it, give it to me, baby. Give it to me, and I'm all motherfucking ears. <laughs> Period. Now, y'all comment down below and tell me who y'all think I look like. I'm not going to say it because I don't want people to think I'm head ass. But, yeah. If you're watching this, because I know you watch my YouTube channel. I know. I know. That's why, that's why the story time is a story time. Because you watch my YouTube channel. If you're watching this, hey, bitch. Because nice and subtle me would edit that part out the video. But I don't care. Because, bitch, why you still watching me? Huh? Why are you still keeping up with me? So as y'all read by the title, this is a black girl tag. But honestly, some of these questions did not correlate with being a black girl. They were just general questions in, in general. So I answered them. And as y'all can see, it got a little messy. But oh well. It wouldn't be me if I ain't get a little nasty. <laughs> Period. I wouldn't be me if I ain't get a little nasty. So it is what it is. I hope y'all enjoy. Y'all just got to stay tuned because these questions, y'all. These questions. Just keep watching. Love y'all. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, T Lux Dosage, aka Big Motherfucking Dosage, aka The Entrepreneur, and I am back with another video. If you're new here, hey, welcome. If you're not new here, hey, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to become a part of the Trap House. Turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss an upload from the Trap House because I mean, really, who wants to miss an upload from the Trap House? So now we got that out the way, I'm coming to y'all today with a black girl tag video. I can't really tell right now, but if it's something off of my lashes, just please disregard it for the sake of this video. Um, I just went straight to Google, typed in black girl tag, clicked on the top two choices. Here's one. I have not looked at them. So with that said, let's get into this video. I just saw two, two, two. I'm giving y'all a different view right now. I'm in my living room and I'm sitting on my floor. I'm sitting on my carpet. Like, so if y'all can't tell, I see I have hardwood floors. Um, nice dark brown hardwood floors. I love it. I love it. Not me mixed and then whipped it. But, um, I have a carpet, a rug on my living room floor. That's where I'm at in my living room right now. This is part of my couch. And, um, so I'm sitting on that. I'm real comfy. This is just the way I found myself having to turn facing this way. So that way I can get the light on me. Okay, let's get into it. So, number one, what is your favorite edge control? My favorite edge control would be... I think it's called Style Factor. That one's my favorite for sure. Um, I don't really have to do my edges too much because I keep them in protective styles. But I've had my hair out of soft locks and that wig for about a week and a half now. And I've been rocking this ponytail. And Edge Factor, Style Factor, Edge Booster, whatever those three names is. If it's all three or I done mixed it up that works really good with blame number two you have to choose one of the following collard greens cornbread yams or baked macaroni and cheese baby baked macaroni and cheese what are you saying what are you saying okay collard greens i love them cornbread i love it but ain't nothing topping the baked macaroni and cheese period what is your hair type example 1b to 4c I don't know my exact specific hair type as far as knowing for sure, but an estimate, I've always considered my hair type as 4C. So it is what it is. It's 4C. Look, it look 4C, don't it? If y'all see that, that's just the hairpin. Don't mind it. This is all my hair, too. <laughs> I remember back in the days, I used to have to, my, I used to wear my bun this size, and it was with fake hair. Now it's my real hair, baby. <laughs> Talk to me nice. Number four, name four hood black movies you love to watch. Okay, hood. Black movies, because so I'm trying to make sure the videos that I call out are actually like considered hood. So when nobody say, oh, that's not hood. Like if I said love and basketball, they're gonna be like, oh, that's not hood. But, um, so I said ATL, then what was the other one I said? ATL, All About the Benjamins, Friday After Next. Who, who would I have been to not include a Friday? One of the Fridays in that. Okay, and now what's another one? Girl, you just need one more before your black card get revoked. I like movie belly, <laughs> period. Y'all can't tell me those movies ain't hood. Don't play. Y'all probably ain't even seen some of those. How do you feel about interracial couples? I feel like they can do what they want to do. If they want to date interracially, I hope I use that in the correct form. If they want to be an interracial couple, they can be an interracial couple. That has nothing to do with me. That's people's problem. They always minding other people's business. If you want to date within your race, date within your race. If you want to date outside of your race, date outside of your race. It has nothing to do with you. Mind your business. Period. It's so simple and people make it so hard. Is there any, number six, is there anything about your features that are considered more masculine because of your complexion? How would some, 
I'm trying to think, like, what is it that someone would consider me a man for because I'm darker? I'm, I'm going to erase. I can't think right now. Like, I can't process that question because it's so specific. Like, the complexion part of the question threw me off. But if there's anything, so I'm just going to erase that from the question and just say, is there anything about my features that someone might consider masculine? Someone might consider me masculine because of how tall I am. Like I'm five nine and three fours. I'm gonna always put the three fours at the end. Period. What are you talking about? So I feel like um, someone might call me a man because of that. Like you know how they call. Like you know how they like to be funny. You know I'm not even gonna bring it up. But people love being funny and calling a tall woman a man. Period. That's all I'm gonna say. Because I don't want to bring out other features. You know once you put things out into the world, regardless of if it's an insecurity or not. People will take that and use that against you just for the heck of it. Just because they know something that they feel affects you or should affect you. They're going to say it for their own personal gain. And I'm not one of those to feed someone ammunition. If you want to say something about me, say it at your own expense. I'm not going to give it to you for you to be able to use against me. So, I don't give a fuck what you say about my height though, baby. I'm 5'9 and 3'4". So, if you want to call me a man, have at it. But I can't my mama whatever. Look. <laughs> I can't even say it. If you want to call me a man, have at it. But I came out of my mama with a vagina and I still got it to this day. I still got that vagina to this day. And look, this might be too much for some people, but I'm a grown-ass woman. I am 22 years old, okay? Life be out here, life in me. I have my own struggles and battles. But I am a very confident woman and I am very aware of what I want in life. And I am a very straightforward person. So if you can't handle it, you can't handle it. But... I can come on my channel and say that I was born with the vagina. So I don't give a fuck if anybody wants to call me a man. I don't care. I just have to put that out there. And I hope I got my point across the way I was trying to explain it. But if I come back to this video once I start edit editing it and I feel like I didn't clarify what point I was trying to make, then I'm gonna further explain it and starts to clip here. But if I don't, next question. Number eight, were you always confident in wearing your natural hair? Quick story, you, well quick, breakdown y'all know how us black girls the ones all of us who have gotten perms before got the medical assisted rate in our lives okay you know he's only supposed to get like two perms a year i didn't go by that i thought i had to get a perm and i don't need anybody going in my comments either advocating about it baby i don't get perms no more i don't want no hair advice if i want some hair advice i'm gonna start youtube for it i don't need you to come tell me any and that's not me being rude that's just me being straightforward people t take a little window and go to extra mile. I'm just telling you my story. That's it. It's not for you to analyze and read, none of that. And I hope people don't take offense to that because I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just a very straightforward person, you know? Like, I can take criticism, especially constructive criticism, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood for unsolicited advice. Like, I didn't ask for it, so I don't feel like hearing it. When I ask for it, give it to me, baby. Give it to me, and I'm all motherfucking ears, <laughs> period. But, okay, back to the topic. I just hate that I feel like I gotta always make disclaimers because it's like people watching this, like family, friends, and even outside of them, push them to the back. <sighs> Viewers in general, people who don't know you will take anything you say and misconstrue it just for the fun of it. I don't got time. I don't be having time. I be in my bubble. Look, this is my YouTube channel. I didn't tell y'all to come. I didn't make y'all come watch me. So if you don't like anything I got to say, just click off. I'ma still do my thing. It'd be great without you. But I'm in my bubble doing what I like to do. So if you don't want to be in my bubble and hear what I got to say in my bubble, remove yourself. Period. But like I said, I hope I don't, people don't think I'm rude. I'm just a little too real for y'all. That's it. Maybe it's the Capricorn in me. Like we say stuff that people shouldn't get offended by, but they get offended by it. And it's like how? It's just the truth. Like. If I tell you your shoestring is untied because your shoestring is untied, why are you getting mad at me because I'm telling you your shoestring is untied? It's nothing to get mad about. Just tie your shoe. You should be happy that I'm helping you. You get what I'm saying? If I'm telling you your eyelash is coming up in real time, in real time, if my friend is with me and she tells me my eyelash is coming up, I'm not going to get mad. I'm going to fix my eyelash and I'm going to be like, thank you, bitch. But another person will get mad and say, so, I don't care. And what about it? Like, bitch, y'all get what I'm saying? Okay, Miss can screw okay so what i went by um when i used to get perms was every time i had about an inch of new growth because you know our perm hair 
it's straight for us black women. Our hair, our hair was curly, and then we got it permed, and it'd be straight, okay? And when our new growth, new growth came in, which was our natural hair, it would come in as our natural curl or whatever. And so about an inch of new growth would come in of our natural hair, and then that's whenever I would classify that I needed a perm. And so that's what how it was pretty much throughout my life. I wore my hair however I wore it. I don't remember. The most control I ended up having over my hair was whenever I became natural. Because before then, my grandma was my hairstylist, but she's barely touched my hair since then. Maybe to wash it for me, put it in some braids, put it in some cornrows for me so that I can put a wig on. But that's it. She didn't style my hair outside of that in a long time. But, um, and if she has, it's like maybe once or twice. But, um, so that's how it was. So ninth grade year. I'm pretty sure I wore my hair as my natural hair. In January, my mama had got her taxes and she took me and my sister to get our hair done at the hair salon. And I got some Senegalese twists. So I wore those Senegalese twists for a long time. And you know, protective styles that last long. So, I, so you can say I wore them for about two to three months. And then I got them touched up. So I wore them another two to three months. And so um, I think I probably had gotten them touched up one more time after that or taken out and put back in. But so by the time summer came, and my mom probably got her taxes in February or March, so think of it in that narrative then. I wore those for about one to two months, then I got them touched up again by like June maybe. And we went to visit a family member up north, so I remember that it was during that time period because I had the Senegalese twist then whenever we went to visit them. And so um, when we came, over the course of the summer, whenever I finally took those Senegalese twists out, like I was natural, like like the new growth that would have been like just an inch before I got permed, back when I was wearing perms, it was probably about four to four six inches of new growth. And during this time period, the only person in my family that was natural was my older sister. Not that she put that narrative onto me, like I didn't understand when like not I didn't understand what natural hair was I just I just was doing what I was accustomed to and I didn't become a YouTube fanatic until the summer after freshman year so the summer after freshman year the same time that I realized I had natural hair and that I was in the transition phase I got put into it by accident because of having Senegalese twists for about a good four to five months I had about four to five months of new growth attached to my perm ends and so i was like oh i'm natural like i'm on youtube i'm watching makeup tutorials this is when i first got into makeup usually this would spark everything for me this is when i first started wearing makeup i started wearing makeup because i had got my eyebrows waxed for that trip that we had went on too and i um whenever i used to get my eyebrows waxed consistently whenever they, the hair started to grow back in i'd be able to pinpoint the excess hairs and remove them and stuff but this one time in particular i got a little bit too tweezer happy and i plucked too many hairs so with that i um i ended up on youtube and i thought youtube was played out i was like people still watching youtube like the last time i probably watched youtube was like just for fight videos in middle school and music videos in elementary and middle school like i was like people be on youtube ill but i went to youtube and i looked up eyebrow tutorials i didn't even know that fake eyebrows or any of that exist i was just like how can i fix my eyebrows when i pluck too much off my arch <laughs> i hope that ain't cringe because i'll cut it out but i'm like how can i how can i fix my eyebrows when i pluck too much off my arch i'll probably say something like that and Aaliyah J, i'll never forget this video if i can find it i'll put it on the screen that's the first video i watched for her i think and she became my favorite after that for a long time period, I was strictly on just the beauty side of YouTube, but as of the last three to four years, I've been on the lifestyle side. So it's always nostalgic for me whenever I come across a makeup video that I actually want to see because it's like, damn, this is how I started this. This is how I started becoming a YouTube obsession person. Like, that's all I watch is YouTube. It's really crazy how obsessed I am. At that point is whenever I decided I wanted to be a YouTuber too. But it was a long time coming for me to finally actually act on it. But look at me now. About to be 100 videos in. Literally got 97 on my channel. But I filmed more than 100 because like I said, I got some that's on private. And I got some that I got to edit to upload. So 
oh wow that's crazy i literally made over 100 youtube videos that's so crazy run me up wrote the 10,000. i forgot to say that at the beginning but we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers so like comment and subscribe to become part of the trap house stop playing stop playing but so um yeah that's how i became natural what was the question anyway your girl repping a ponytail and it's actually bigger than this i shaped it like a bun like i tucked it and pinned it like a bun but this is a legitimate ponytail y'all like a ponytail period y'all see because if it was a puff it'd stop like right here because once you get up here with, uh, with a puff that string gonna just remove itself it has to be some like right here in the middle of the head for it to stay secure or lower than that i've always been confident in it like i can't think back that far and say that i wasn't like it was the bitches who used to talk about me and my hair telling me how pretty my hair is <laughs> it's the fans for me period and this was in high school, so imagine now. I probably got more hair than them hoes. Like, my shit alone. Don't play. Alone like my legs. Burr. Okay. Y'all, I, I was talking too much. I gotta hurry up and get through this. Because, yeah, this is 30 questions. Yeah, it's 80 questions, actually. And I, like I said, I got two sheets. I'm gonna just go off this sheet, and I'm gonna do the first 30 questions. So I'm gonna try to zoom through. Cause I got side checked for real, but this is a black girl tag, and everything I just said was black girl ish. So if you rocking with it, you rocking with it. If you not, you not. But it's okay. Period. Because at least you watch it. Did you have support from anyone while you were transitioning? I don't know. Like it was just a process in my life. I didn't even know what was going on. Like, but who cares if I did or didn't have support? It is what it is. I supported myself. That's all that matters. How deep is it for you to let someone see you in your head scarf? The only time I wear a head scarf is whenever I'm tying it around my edges. I've never tried to wear it in like a turban style. Have I? I thinking back, I may have tried to attempt styling it in a turban, maybe at home once just to see if I could do it. But I've never ever attempted to wear it out like that. And if I wore it out like that, I probably would be a little self-conscious just by default or whatever but i wouldn't think too much of it at any day if it, at any point in my life if i decide to step out inside a turban it's because i want to and i don't care what anyone has to say but back then i probably would have been a little subconscious about it just because it's different for me and anything that's different for me i get anxiety about when it's no big deal like i just be in my own head but i don't care what anyone has to say simple people have seen me in my bonnet I used to pull up on this nigga I used to talk to last year all the time in my bonnet. Like he had he had a nickname for me whenever I was in my bonnet. I forgot what he used to call me. Or beautiful or something like that. Cause I look good in my bonnet. Fuck you talking about I got my LV one. I used to pull up on him in that and my black one and my pink one. I don't care. Like niggas see me in my scarf. Like I was just on FaceTime last week with this same hairstyle with a scarf around my edges in bed. I don't care. Simple. And I walk outside and I be going to my car every morning with my scarf around my edges and I be in traffic with it on it and I take it off whenever I'm ready. Whenever I feel like they lay, I take it off. What is the highest and lowest amount you pay for braids or weave? So I say the lowest amount I paid for braids or weave would be zero only because I did it myself. So this, so minus how much I might have paid for the hair itself, I paid zero dollars to install it. I'd say I never paid over like a good 100 to 200. Not only do they have your foundation stage at your local drugstore. So fun fact, I don't wear foundation. I just started wearing foundation again. Actually, um, my makeup, everyday makeup consists of me wearing concealer. Like not foundation as a first step in my makeup routine. I just wear concealer and then my fine foundation, I actually use as my contour shade like slash bronzing shade so yeah that's how i do my makeup and i've never shopped at the luxury makeup stores and i'm gonna throw in all these even though i don't even know if they're considered luxury or not i really don't look i'm just answering your question ulta sephora um all those places I've never shopped it. Sephora, my sister did take buy me some makeup for my 16th birthday. And that Sephora shave, I makeup forever. That one was pretty, I loved it. That's the most expensive foundation I ever had. I wore it out. This is like my sophomore year of high school. But all my makeup is drugstore. 
like I wear the same makeup I do the same makeup routine I do change it every now and then like now I'm switching it up but um yes they sell my shade at the drugstore right now the one I'm wearing I don't remember which one I'm wearing but um I do I have lately been wearing foundation as like a final thing as like a full face thing did I do foundation as the first lay on this makeup I think I did I think I did for this look but I literally just got back into it like not even a month ago do you ever hear the phrase is that your real hair if so when yeah um I think whenever I wore my natural hair out for the first time in my old job last year after I took my um soft locks out my white co-worker I mean I didn't say white in a bad way I'm just saying white because that's what she likes a white co-worker she told me she liked my hair she was like is that your hair I'm like yeah she's like oh it's cute is your hair like natural curly like that I'm like yeah she was like mine is too but I hate it or she said hers isn't and she hated it or she used to hate it back in the day something like that she was a very talkative person and yeah I might give y'all a story time about her one day i don't know i don't know because i mean if it, it if it involved me and if i got something on my chest that i want to put out in the story time to entertain people then i can do that and i ain't gonna say no names so i should be able to do that but i don't know she was very fake let me just say that she was very fake she was fake to everyone she talked junk about everyone she made the work environment her and her co-take her and her co-teacher were very messy they were made for each other up until the wheels fell off but they were made for each other and that ain't just come from my mouth that came from the boss's mouth and everyone else's so if you're watching this because i know you watch my youtube channel i know i know that's why that's why the story time is a story time because you watch my youtube channel if you're watching this hey bitch <laughs> i play too much and as nice as i play 24 7 24 7 i'm not editing that part out the video because nice and subtle me would edit that part out the video but i don't care because bitch why you still watching me huh why you still keeping up with me so if this ever gets out you a fan because you're still watching me the fuck i'll tell y'all about it one day gonna be shitting in their boots <laughs> i play too much but people shouldn't be messing with me because i don't bother nobody simple and don't think you ate either okay you know what i'm talking about without me saying too much if y'all want that story time y'all don't comment on nothing and i know i say this every time i tell y'all to comment every time i tell y'all to comment i say this and y'all still don't comment so i'm gonna say it and i mean it when i say it but yeah if y'all want that story time Y'all need to let me know y'all want that story time and I'll give it to y'all. Simple as that. Simple as that. Okay? And if you pressed about it, girl, you shouldn't have did it. I don't care. Did I say anything to you? No, but I can't make a story time about it, so I am. If you pressed about it, you shouldn't have did it. You shouldn't have been meant to. You. And this is my channel. And I'm a grown woman. And as long as I don't say no names or no companies, you should not be mad. Because if this would happen, this would happen. And if you think you ate, you didn't. Okay, let me just put that out there. If you are really watching me still, let me just put this out here. If you think you ate, you didn't. Because it was my decision while I'm no longer there, not anyone else's. Next question, Tamika. Y'all seen that TikTok? Next question, Tamika. Yeah, that's not my name. What black celebrity do you look like? I want to say it, but I don't want nobody to come for me. So I'm going to just leave it alone and I'm going to ask y'all who y'all think I look like. <laughs> I play too much. Now y'all comment down below and tell me who y'all think I look like. I'm not going to say it because I don't want people to think I'm head ass. But yeah. Who do you hate more? Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, or Taylor Swift? Why are they asking? Okay, not even being funny, but this is black girl tag. So I can see them asking that question on the white girl tag. Why are they asking that on the black girl tag? I don't hate none of them. What male celebrity do you love to hate? For example, Jim Carrey, <laughs> Kodak. I'm not gonna answer that question because I don't think I love to hate anybody. Like it's a few celebrities who might get on my nerves. Like, cause like we don't know these people for real. So like, what? You can only stay so much. Like, 
yeah so i'm not gonna say i hate anyone but some of these people and the way they handle certain situations that respond it's a bit distasteful but at the end of the day it's none of my business so it's not mine to comment on to a certain extent so yeah i'm not saying any names i literally can't even think of any off the top of my head so i'm gonna leave the question alone like i said in the first part of the video that's people's problem they always they can't just see shit for what it is and leave it alone they always got to do the most they can't just mind their business look you don't know how to mind your business it ain't cool but it's cool because i'm gonna teach you next question do you typically have a good time or bad time at the hairdresser and why so i pretty much do my hair myself <laughs> do i have a hard time or a good time doing my own hair it's annoying i feel like everyone thinks their hair is annoying like hard to deal with hard to maintain all that and stuff like we love our net i love my natural hair i wouldn't trade it for the world but i'm sure we all feel like like how bad do we hate our hair on a bad hair day we hate it incredibly we hate it times 2000 so yeah do i enjoy doing my hair not so much i prefer i mean i do enjoy doing my hair but i would prefer someone else to do it for me entirely um but i don't have the patience for someone i mean not the patience i don't feel like having someone do my hair and they don't do it all the way right so that's why i do it myself or good enough for myself and then also it's expensive <laughs> hair styling is getting expensive expensive every day and it's okay because that's people's prices and if i want it that bad i'm gonna pay it but outside of that if i can't afford it or if i simply don't want to pay it or if i feel like i can do a better job or i feel like i can do a good enough job guess what i'm gonna do it myself and that's what i do again if it's any of those four things i just named if you don't like it you don't gotta talk down on people just do it yourself simple it's so good over here on the peaceful side of life People be making problems out of everything. How you gonna argue with someone about their prices? If you feel like it's too high, respectfully exit their DMs, exit their um, booking site, and do your hair yourself. If you can't do it yourself, and you need it done that damn bad, pay the price. Or shut up. Simple. <laughs> Simple. How many combs or brushes have you, have, have you broken? I don't know, but I've broken some. What is something you like to do when you are excited? When I'm excited, I smile. I might make sounds. Like, the only thing I, like, when I'm excited, what do I like to do when I'm excited, bitch? What do people do when they're excited? They be like, yeah. that That's something I do when I'm excited. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Like, if they said, what is something you like to do when you're bored? I can understand that question because I can say I like to read, I like to watch YouTube, I like to watch movies, I like to watch shows, I like to chill inside, I like to this, I like to go hang with my friends, like I like to text people, get on the phone, FaceTime, but it's like, what do people do when they're excited? They smile and they jump up and down and they say, yee, that's what people do when they're excited. Next question, that was so, uh. Have you ever been in a Ferrari? No, but the rich lifestyle is calling me. So baby, future husband, if you're out there and you have a Ferrari, or even if you don't have a Ferrari, but you have the connections to put me in one, hopefully in the future if I get asked this question, I can say yes because my man took me in one. Um, would you like to have a dog? Yes, I already have one. He's a pit bull. His name is Torch. He's black and white spots. He's white with black spots. He's my spotted baby boy. And he's a pit bull and he's old. His birthday was March 28th. 2018 he is a pisces if i'm not mistaken and he's a big old big old baby and i want some more dogs what is your hobby all those things i just called out well my hobbies include watching youtube doing my makeup doing my hair um driving to a certain extent exploring the city um watching my favorite movies and shows like binge watching them those are my hobbies writing i recently discovered like i've been new I, I write books if y'all ain't know i don't think i've ever told y'all but i write books i am an author on Wattpad. i haven't wrote any in a long time i have some stories that are completed and some that still aren't completed but they're all on Wattpad. i wrote i started writing when i was a freshman in high school so 2014 eight years ago i started writing 
um that was like the start of me being a writer but recently i started writing in a different way and i'm going to share it with y'all soon so yeah are y'all ready can y'all guess what type of writing it is if you guess what type of writing it is i might tell y'all even sooner than that but yeah it's the progress what can make you incredibly angry when people don't mind their business Especially when it's about my business. Well, mainly only when it's about my business. Other people's like, I don't care enough to be in their business to know that other people ain't minding their business. But when it's my business and people are snooping and stuff or changing narratives, like, that makes me mad. <laughs> Not even more so mad, because, like, it takes a lot for someone to get me there, but it makes me, like, irritated, like, ill. And I hate when people don't tell the, the story at all, or they don't tell the full story, or they, don't, or they don't tell the true story. Like, I hate when people switch the narrative in that context. <sighs> that right there is a pet peeve of mine, because it's like, what you got to lie for? To make yourself look good, it's not that deep. Like, at the end of the day, God still knows what you did. He knows what really happened. So you changing the story to fit you in a good way for the approval of others but the only person who matters is the man up above that never sits right with me but that's on them who is the one whom you share your everything the only two people who know the most about me who know everything about me are my two best friends now i can elaborate on this a little more because people swear they know you people swear they know you and your character because they went to school with you because they birthed you because they raised you because they lived in the same household with you. But at the end of the day, whenever I go through my life-changing situations, to my family, they're with me as I change every day. But they still don't know everything about me. Hey, y'all. So I feel like I got a little lost in trying to make my point to y'all. So what I was basically saying was my friends know so many things according to what happens in my day and et cetera, et cetera. What my thoughts are about so many things, different topics, like on a day-to-day -day basis when certain things happen, my friends are the ones who know that versus a family member or a distant cousin or someone who watches me on social media. You get that? Okay, cool. So my friends, with them knowing everything that happens in my life, whenever it happens or a little later after it happens, they are the main ones who can be able to analyze my character and tell the next person. If the next person were, were to ask them, how is dosage as a person? They are the main ones who could be able to break me down to the next individual not my family not a distant cousin not a distant relative in general and for sure not anyone i went to school with and for sure not anyone watching me on social media so hopefully that makes my point right there but um they know everything so that's who it is when is the last time you were insulted in front of a crowd i don't know i don't know have I ever been insulted in front of a crowd? I don't know. I, I really don't. I'm very to myself. Sorry, y'all. I know I'm moving a lot. I am know I'm moving around a lot right now. I'm like playing with my shoes and stuff. <laughs> I'm such a kid. Have you ever cheated on someone? No. 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 I'm sitting here thinking like, but that's not cheating. <laughs> Y'all gonna be like, bitch, if you gotta think it's cheating, but nah. The only reason I thought of it is because I just thought of it, but I really didn't cheat. I was, me and this boy was talking back in high school. It was over the summer and I was ready to end it with him. And like, I just hadn't gotten the chance yet. And so like, I did start texting this boy on Instagram, but it was literally the day before I ended it with him. So that was literally it. I didn't cheat on anyone. I've never cheated on anyone. Me and that boy, we weren't even dating. We were just talking. We had been talking for like a couple months, but we weren't dating. So in two ways, I still won't cheat. How often do you cry? Um, I'm really not a crier. It takes a lot for me to cry, but so I could say that I cry like maybe once every month and a half. Recently, I probably cried about three times in the last month and a half. Just certain situations might peek me over and make me cry, but I'm really not a cry baby. I'm really not a sensitive person. It's just if it's certain things on a certain topic that might get to me over and over again, especially if it's a reoccurring thing over a certain time period. So yeah, 
if that makes sense. So that what is the last thing you do before to bed? What's, that's what it says, y'all. What is the last thing I do before I go to bed? Literally put my phone down. I'll have on Dynasty or Being Mary Jane on the TV, and I'll get um, sleepy, and the TV will be just playing, and then I get halfway sleep. I sleep for about two seconds, and I'm like, okay, but the show is still playing. I'm missing my show. I'm going to want to be able to find where I ended off at before I went to sleep. So then I get up. I mean, not even like get up, get up, but I reach over, grab my remote. I press pause. I put that remote down, and I turn over and go to sleep. And then if my lights are still on in my room, my LED lights, I'll take those and I'll turn them down because they'll be on the brightest setting throughout the day. And then at night, I like them on the lowest setting because other than that, it's too light in the room. And I got to sleep in a good amount of dark. I am scared of the dark, <laughs> but it got to be mostly dark in the room, though. Like, a nightlight be good enough for me. Like, in high school, I sure had a Superman highlight. I mean, how like, I sure had a Superman nightlight from Dollar Tree and it was so cute. I think it was Superman. It was either that or Mickey Mouse. But yeah, I always got to sleep with like a good amount of light in a room. What movies made you cry? Um, the Minister Society. Minister Society, um, Paid in Full. What's another one that makes me cry? Law and Order made me cry about a couple months ago. I hurt my feelings so bad. Something else I watched and it made me cry recently. And I was like, damn, bitch, like, you really crying. Recently, as in like the last month and a half, it was a good movie I came across and it made me cry. Like, if you just get that attached to a character, bitch, you gonna cry, okay? It don't make you cry to you, you just gonna cry. What black celebrity do you look like? They got this question up here twice. So I'm gonna tell y'all again, who y'all think I look like? I'm gonna need shaking that for my thought shit. Post me a pic that I make me a profit. When I look ahead, then the bitch get toxic. Why the fuck you in the club when niggas wildin'? I've been lit since brunch. Thought shit. Order 42 for the table. Let's pop shit. Missionary or a ducky style. I'm pop shit. Let's be honest, niggas saying I'm for the clouds. The hoes trying to call me snake. Well, I got the camera late because the bitch with a whole lot of venom. Just these hoes are rats when they come around me. All I see is a whole lot of dinner. I walk around the house butt naked and that's top of the air mirror. Just stare at my own posterior. I don't give a fuck who's up on my back because the bitch knew better than to let me hear. Hmm. Yeah, I think I look like. I was just singing that song, by the way. That's it. But who y'all think I look like? That's the end of this video. I just gave y'all 30 black girl tag questions. Which ones can y'all relate with? Keep it cute in the comments if you don't relate. If you don't agree, your opinion is very welcome. But remember, be nice. Because one thing we don't do in the trap house is tolerate bullshit. If y'all can't tell... From watching this video i am a very peaceful person and i'm a very stern believer in minding your business and protecting your peace okay a part of protecting your peace is minding your business if it's someone else's business and someone else's problems and situations and it's not involving you meaning it's someone else's literally do not mix yourself up and disturb your peace you don't involve yourself in it so if you agree with anything that i say your opinion is very welcome. If you don't agree with what I said, your opinion is very welcome. But remember, the way you talk to people has to be respectful. In a trap house, we do not tolerate disrespectfulness, okay? Especially to the trap house owner. The trap house only exists because of me. Big motherfucking dosage, okay? So keep it cute because for one, you probably won't get a response out of me. So don't even write your message with the intention of getting a response out of me because it's very likely you won't. I might just heart it just to really make you mad because <laughs> I'm really like, not even, I'm not petty, but I really don't give a fuck. I don't be giving a fuck. I'll probably laugh at you. You may get a response out of me. I might politely tell you have a nice day. But that's just what it is. Oh, also, did y'all enjoy this view? Did y'all enjoy this view? It's cute, right? I should do more videos like this, right? I need y'all to start commenting. When y'all feel like I ain't, I ain't even say I ain't posting up because I'm very consistent. I've been very consistent this whole year. Period. But if y'all want me, I need to get back to daily dosage. Okay, because daily dosage happened and then it was the week of graduation. 
and I kind of been floating since then in priorities and trying to get my life together outside of school now but it's a lot okay let's talk let's talk Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. It's your girl T Lux Dosis, aka Big Motherfucking Dosis, aka the Entrepreneur. And I came to y'all with the banger black girl tag video. So if you enjoyed it or anything, you got anything to say, comment down below and tell me how you're feeling. And subscribe to become part of the trap house because we lit over here. And turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss the upload from the trap house because I mean really, who would want to miss the upload from the trap house? Now that we got that over with. Thank you so much for watching this video. Dosey Jow. Man, I took out, bitch. I'm out of here. I'm on a ship out of space.